Welcome back. We are tracking more showers across middle Georgia this evening. It's a very similar situation to what we're seeing last night. We had that kind of early breakup of some of the heavier rainfall, but we do have a couple spots of more moderate rain. Areas of Taylor County now pushing into Crawford County. We'll see more of that moving from areas of Dodge County into Lawrence County as well. So just be ready across the middle Georgia. Grab the umbrella if you are heading out this evening because you just might need it. But we are not expecting to see thunderstorms. So that's some good news as we are heading into the rest of the evening. This is looking out right now on our 41 Sky View overlooking downtown Dublin. This has actually been one of our warmer spots for today. Still sitting at 72 degrees. Humidity at 60% and winds coming from the northeast around 6 miles per hour. So just that little bit of a light breeze right now. Earlier this morning though, we were we're seeing some of those breezier conditions across the area. Temperatures for today making it up to 74 degrees, so still well below normal for this time of year. 66 where we started out today, so really not seeing a huge temperature swing from where we started to where we ended up this afternoon. And now we have cooled off once again. 70 degrees here in Macon, 80 down in Tallahassee, and seeing 71 over in Birmingham versus all of those 80s and the very warm conditions just outside of this cloud shield that we've been stuck under really for the past uh, at least 48 hours, but we were seeing those clouds on Sunday as well. So lots going on. The main issue for us is going to be this area of low pressure that you can see has been hanging out in the Gulf Coast. So that's going to continue uh, to really bring us that shower activity into this evening. We're also watching from a little bit of that sea breeze, bringing in some showers from the east. So we've got a lot going on for tonight. I don't think once again that we're going to see any kind of real strong or severe weather. No thunderstorm activity, all of that staying well south of that stationary boundary. But this is our latest run of our in-house model, still showing that potential for some showers well into tomorrow morning. However, as we're moving through the day tomorrow, this is all going to start to push to the south. We'll see some clearing, still some clouds hanging around for the afternoon. So it's not going to be totally clear, but the sunshine will be back by tomorrow afternoon. Low pressure pushes further to the south, crosses over the peninsula in Florida. And so for Thursday, we're actually going to see a beautiful day. Plenty of sunshine, just a 10% chance for a stray shower. That low pressure, though, going to work its way up the east coast. And then there are a lot of questions after that. But for right now, know that Friday is going to be a pretty warm day up until this cold front drops in. That's going to bring us a little bit of a cool down. And then we have to watch that potential for showers as we head into the weekend. Rest of tonight, though, mostly cloudy skies hang around. Temperatures fall into the middle and low 60s overnight. And by tomorrow, we're going to see a much warmer day. 78 degrees by around 3 p.m. Breezy conditions still. So wind gusts up around 20 miles per hour. As we look ahead to the weekend, it's all going to be about where that area of low pressure off the coast goes. So this is our latest run from the European model. This one's suggesting that we could see that area of low pressure push in along our coast or the South Carolina coast, bringing us that potential for showers and thunderstorms as we are heading into Saturday afternoon and evening and even potentially into Sunday. Some models, though, keep us totally dry. So still a big question mark just kind of on where that low pressure goes, but that is going to determine what kind of weekend we end up seeing. In just 10 seconds, I'll look at our seven day forecast. At Volume Chevrolet, get oil changes for life, plus a 20 year, 200,000 mile warranty. Visit Volume Chevrolet, I-75 exit 187 in Forsyth. That's volumechevrolet.com. And here's your 41 NBC AccuWeather 7 day forecast sponsored by Volume Chevrolet. We are going to be seeing those temperatures making it back into the 80s through the rest of the week. So the warmer weather on the way. Sunshine returns as well. We will see chance for some showers and thunderstorms over the weekend. But our big warm up gets here for Memorial Day next week. Highs around 84 degrees.